Well, so let's just make sure that we define terms. A stalactite is a dripping stone that hangs from the ceiling, and a stalagmite is the dripping stone forming underneath, growing upwards. And if they somehow get uh, connected, they, they turn into a column. Well, <clears throat> if you ask the vast majority of specialists, they would tell you that it takes, it doesn't take millions of years, but surely it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. And what do they base this on? Radiometric dating. They take a stalagmite, they cut it along its long axis, right, lengthwise, and then they see the growth layers, because that's what you find there, growth layers like this. And then you date them using radiometric dating. Usually it's uranium thorium they use on stalagmites. You cannot date a stalactite, by the way, because a stalactite is not layers like this. It's circular layers with a hollow in the center. And that introduces lots of errors, so we cannot date stalactites. Okay, now. So they date them, and this is how they found stalactites and stalagmites that are over 600,000 years old, for example. Uh, you can't go too far away in, in the past because then the method itself doesn't allow you to, so they used even paleomagnetism to do that, but that's a different story. Let's say that's true, and I'll show you why it's not true in the end, but let's, let's accept that. We all know, actually, that radiometric datings are based on assumptions and therefore are fa faulty. But I accept, see, I've got a stalagmite this tall, which I measured personally, I dated in Paris at the Natural History Museum, and it came out 88,000 years, from the bottom to the tip. And as I was doing the, the dating, it just suddenly dawned on me, wait a minute, so it means for 88,000 years, that stubborn little water droplet kept arriving exactly in the same spot. But there's a problem with that, because I know what happens, how does that water get there? First, it's rainwater infiltrating through a soil where there's lots of bacteria and re roots and all that, which increase the amount of carbon dioxide, so that rainwater turns into a mild soda, carbonic acid as we call it. Then it penetrates into the limestone, and because there's an acid inside lim limestone, it starts eating limestone. So it gets a little bit of limestone, and as, as it arrives at the dripping point in a cave, it loses the carbon dioxide and Im immediately starts precipitating, depositing its load of minerals, which is calcite. But as it travels through the rock, because it eats the rock, it changes the shape, the morphology of the little conduit along which it, it arrives. And I can measure that, and I see on the surface, cut off a forest, and within 10 years, you have massive erosion on limestones. So it is impossible to admit that for 88,000 years, that water droplet followed exactly the same path through the rock in order to arrive exactly at the same point. So it, it, it changes, and, and you can see even to this day, and we, we've recorded this, during a few years, the dripping point changes position. So oftentimes you have stalagmites that grow like this, trying to cope, but if the, the dripping point moves away too far, there's a new stalagmite for me. So it, there's no way that the dripping point is preserved over such long periods of time. And then you have to, 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 to make appeal to, to common sense. Which is more true? What you see with your, your own eyes as happening, or just a radiometric dating, which is an indirect way to, to measure the age. You must conclude that there must be something wrong with the age of, measured by radiometric dating. Therefore, I do not believe that stalagmites and stalactites need uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of years. And for that matter, we have lo lots of examples. Either stalagmites that we've seen grow very fast in caves, or there's a famous case which actually is mentioned uh, in the, there are photographs in, in our creation magazine uh, of the Molly Kathleen uh, Molly Kathleen gold mine in Cripple Creek, Colorado, which is a mine less than 100 years old. And they, they left the mine, and there's stalagmites about this high growing in less than 100 years. Not one, many. So there it is. It's very simple. They do not need millions of years to form.